Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to level up your pets in Roblox Pet Catchers. Now let's get right into the video. Obviously, there are a few different ways to level up your pets. One, using a knowledge scroll, which is plus one level when fed to a pet. Those are a little bit harder to get, but I'll show you guys how to get those things. And then wild berries, these are the, probably the, one of the easiest things to get to level up your pet, and it does plus 100 XP when fed to a pet. Now, the first way to get wild berries is through this wild berry shrine right here. Obviously, if you guys want to fight bosses to level up your pets, you can, or fight little monsters around the world, like slimes, molten crabs, mutant slimes, cra regular crabs scorpions i mean all those things level up your pets and if you guys fight king slime or the kraken those give you uh i think it's a 22 percent chance of getting wild berries and you get a pretty good amount of wild berries i think you get about 5,000 every single fight and then obviously if you, like i said if you guys fight the armored snowman or, or the molten crabs you guys get wild berries from that as well and xp for your pets we're gonna go ahead and head to Sunset Shores real quick. If you guys fight the Kraken, you guys have a better chance. You have a 1 in 200 chance of getting a Knowledge Scroll and a 30% chance of getting Wild Berries. Again, I'm pretty sure you get about 5,000 Wild Berries per fight. If you guys come to the Gym Trader over here in Sunset Shores, usually has Knowledge Scrolls over here you guys can buy. They're not too expensive either. I think it's about 1,000 or 500 uh, gems per scroll which isn't too bad depending on how many gems you have. I have a gem getting method. I'm gonna pop it up here on the top right of the screen real quick. Um, I don't know why I'm heading to Gloomy Grotto. This is not an area you guys have to go to get scrolls. I honestly thought the magic shop may have sold scrolls, but they do not. The next place we're gonna go is the Black Market. If you guys head up here to the Black Market, Let's head up here real quick, and sometimes the black market will sell these knowledge scrolls. No store in this game will sell wild berries. Surprisingly, you can't buy bundles of them either, but they will sell knowledge scrolls, and they give you plus one level on any pet. Now, if you guys head up to the Hyperwave Arcade, you guys go to the prize booth, and sometimes, but very rarely, the prize booth will have uh, those knowledge scrolls that you guys will need. But those are the only ways to get wild berries and knowledge scrolls. Obviously, if you guys see them in the shop, make sure you guys buy them, especially the knowledge scrolls, because those are the hardest things to get in the game, or they're very scarce, I should say, because, I mean, you level your pets up a lot in this game. As you guys can see, every pet level is max level at 25, and it takes a pretty good amount of berries, especially if it's a secret pet, and a bunch of knowledge scrolls. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe down below, and hit that notification bell if you guys like videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.